What is up guys, my name is Sticks, and if you don't already, follow me over on Twitter at ByteSticks to stay updated with the latest MMO related news. I've always wondered what it would be like if Minecraft had a secret love child with Nier Automata and played out as an isometric RPG shooter. And although Dodge Hard is not that game, it's close enough to it. Now this is a sponsored video, so if those kinds of videos offend you, then please keep watching. I mean, stop watching. Uh, you know what I mean. Or do you? So, what is Dodge Hard? A new and exciting bullet hell RPG for mobile devices. If you're not familiar with what a bullet hell RPG is, then allow me to elaborate. See what I'm doing? That's bullet hell. The term refers to a subgenre of shooting games where the main gameplay focuses around dodging endless waves of bullets. A bullet hell RPG is, in essence, what I just described, with RPG elements included. So with all of us being caught up and on the same page now, let's jump into the game officially then, yeah? Within the first few minutes I realized two different things. One, the game was going to be a lot more difficult than I thought, having to dodge so often. If you've watched me play games in the past, then you'd know I'm terrible at dodging. And two, the auto-aiming, while advantageous at times, especially for someone like me that is new to the genre, may make the game easier for those of you that are experienced with games like this. I absolutely adore the cute retro Minecraft theme the game has going for it. It reminds me so much of Trove, and that game was badass. One of the game's selling points is the fact that you can level up and craft a plethora of gear. There were so many options initially that I was left a little overwhelmed. I, I saw multiple tiers of weapons, parts, modules, and materials that could be crafted. Upon the successful crafting of equipment, you're capable of navigating to the equipment screen and equipping the gear you just spent your resources on. From what I gather, the item created is procedurally generated, much like a lot of the game is, to make for much less repetitious gameplay and gear obtained. Oh man, aren't I the cutest little dual thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Oh, it makes me just want to smoosh his cheeks together. From what I can tell, each boss encounter has unique mechanics and unique combat styles. For example, this crazy chicken shoots out feathers that spiral around that are fairly easy to dodge, whereas on the other hand, this refrigerator, I believe he's called, oh, oh well, shit. Clearly he's a little more difficult as he just one shot me. This boss shoots out not only vertical and horizontal attacks directed at you, but auto locks on attacks that seek you out whilst in the midst of dodging. Unfortunately, they're the only two I had the opportunity to experience, but nevertheless, from what I can tell, not only are they bound to be challenging, but they're also... well, interestingly... scripted. <laughs> One thing I did notice was that when I went AFK for a minute to go grab a drink, the monsters respawned. I came back just moments after they respawned only to find myself under siege. I had no idea this happened, and I don't actually have any recollection of this happening in dungeon crawling RPGs like this. What this means though is that grinding is exponentially easier if you can run back and forth between rooms and grind XP along with items to craft better gear with. Combat overall was very amusing and entertaining. Not only was it fast, but it required I utilize dodging and hiding behind obstacles whilst attempting to get out of the way of open fire. I found myself getting low on HP quite frequently, and that's because I suck at games like this. But, well, I admittedly don't really actually have any other reasoning, but I swear I'm good at some games. Each gun having their own special effects, ranging from normal bullets to AOE bullets to missiles, definitely adds a lot of diversity to the game, and I like that. I feel like more RPG games should offer players weapon and playstyle diversity like this. Lastly, the game offers a special power-up called Fever Mode. What this does is, in essence, allow you to enter a state of near matrix level speed and accuracy, maximizing your speed, damage, and essentially making you into a walking, talking, killing machine. So, with all that being said and done, is Dodge Hard a game I would recommend to people? It's a very interesting take on a genre I hadn't ever really taken the time to try, but I nevertheless thoroughly enjoyed what I played. I would recommend this game to fans of dungeon crawlers, bullet hell RPGs, or just retro games. It's definitely a throwback, that's for sure.